Now, here is the story of the people of the Sabbath. Because, you know, Quran has rebuked the people of Bani Israel for the heinous acts. And Allah has challenged them here to mention the story of people of Sabbath in, in uh, which some of the people of um, this locality, they were transformed and changed into monkeys and pigs. The story relates to a small fishing community. They were fishermen and fishing was their profession and it was their source of income and it was their sole source of livelihood. So it was a small fishing community and um, it was located between Madian and the Mount Thur and the, they were the people of Ayla and it was in the period of Hazrat Dawood now, during this time, because of their persistence, disobedience, and their stubbornness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed many injunctions against them. And as a punishment for their rebellious behavior, but um, not only as a punishment, but also as a means of cleansing them against their sins. Much of these injunctions and rules were therefore a trial for the people of Bani Israel. So one of these injunctions was the observance of Sabbath, that is Saturday, where, as I've already told, that the people of Bani Israel were completely prohibited from doing any worldly work. So in one of these villages, they were located on the Red Sea, and the Jews, they used to work fishing, and uh, it meant what? According to this order of the Sabbath, it meant obviously that they were not allowed to fish on Saturdays. Now, this injunction was particularly difficult for them to comply with. Because you know what happened was that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the seas in which they fished, they proved to be poor fishing ground for six days of the week. But you know what happened? On every Saturday, all types of fish would appear in the same sea. And on Saturdays, they were so, so very abundant. And they were so prominent that they could even be seen playing on the surface of the water. On all the other days, the same fish would just vanish. And the fishermen would come back empty-handed. Now, the appearance of this plentiful fish on Saturdays and the disappearance on the rest of the days, this was a trial from Allah to test their faith, to test their obedience and the patience. Now, slowly and steadily what started happening was that these people, these fishermen, they started getting frustrated. And they could just not tolerate the observance of Sabbath any longer. But at the same time, they, they did not even want to outrightly disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, you know what they did? They devised a scheme. They, they invented and they devised a scheme to circumvent, to circumvent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's orders. What they used to do was that they used to dig deep holes and then they would lay out their fishing traps on Friday in these holes and when the fish they visited on Saturdays they were caught in the traps they were busy worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they were wishing they were busy praying but at the same time on Saturday their fish were caught in the traps on Sunday the fishermen would collect the fish in doing so what did they do they deliberately disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indirectly because even if technically they did not fish on Saturday the fish in fact were caught because of the system they had improvised and this was their trickery and this was their deception they very well understood that they were breaching the observance of Sabbath in substance as time passed, they became more and more daring. They become more and more daring. And they started disobeying the commands of Allah openly now. Now, in actual fact, what was the whole event? It was a trial. 
it was a trial and the trial was to cleanse them for their sins and disobedience but they were like just unable to withstand this trial allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the events in other other chapters of quran as well where allah says chapter 7 verse 163 allah says inquire of them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the town which was situated by the sea when they did not keep the sabbath the fish came up on the surface of the water for them but on the days other than the sabbath the fish did not come we tried them in this way for they were disobedient and then allah says when a section of them said why do you admonish the people whom god is about to destroy or to punish severely they replied to clear ourselves of blame before our lord and that they may fear the god but when they forgot to remember the warning we saved those who prohibited evil but inflicted on the wicked a dreadful punishment a requital for their disobedience so what happened actually was that <coughs> <coughs> when the disobedient people they became more and more daring and they started disobeying the commands openly and they would catch the fish on sunday the rest of the villagers who did not participate in this sinful act actually they got divided into two groups the first who actively disapproved of the actions and they were also warning the wrong doers to rectify their mannerism before the punishment and the torment of the allah fell upon them and the second group of people they were the they were the silent spectators and they remained silent in the face of all the wrong doings they were seeing they did nothing to stop the wrong doers they allowed the disobedience to continue even though they did not actively pass, participate themselves in the wrong doing and you know what else they did they also disapproved of the first group that is the group who was trying to stop the wrong doers the second group was trying to disapprove they disapproved of the people who were stopping them to do this wrong doing and they used to ask them why why do you preach to the people who allah is about to destroy us to punishment with severe torment so in today's term why what 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 were they trying to say why are you bothered about them to hell with them let the issue be between the their and their allah so they were the silent spectators now the first group they were aware that if they did not actually try to stop the wrongs that were being openly committed then the torture and the punishment of allah would descend upon the whole community and not just the wrong doers and they would not provide them with adequate defense against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so what happened is that week after week the disobedient fishermen continued to defy allah's orders bringing with them abundant fish from the sea fearing the torture of allah the first group continued continued to warn them against the action and repeatedly repeatedly despite the multitude of warnings the disobedient people they continue to transgress and exceed the limits of allah so what happened finally was that the curse and the wrath of allah fell upon the community and the ones who were commanding the right and prohibiting the wrong they were spared from the torment and how were the rest of the community even the passive by standards the silent spectators they were severely punished and this punishment was unique it was unprecedented and not only was it unique and unprecedented it was terrifying and it was humiliating as allah says when they persisted in doing what they were they had been forbidden what was said kunu qiratatan khasain 
we said to them become like apes the despised ones and the events have been explained by the words of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also hazrat ibn abbas and malik they have reported that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told that those who committed the sinful deeds they were abandoned by the rest of the people of the town and some of them declared their rejection and denial and they did not listen to the preachers and afterward they used to stay night apart from the rest of the people of the town and uh, there were doors barriers between them and the rest of the people who were anticipating that there will be a befalling of punishment over them in one day and one day the the doors were not opened and they did not come and the doors did not open till noon and the people got anxious the rest of the people they got anxious and this they, they sent one of them to see what happened to them and when they came from above the doors they saw that there were monkeys and there were no people they were just monkeys and the monkeys you know what they they recognized their relatives while their relatives could not recognize them and they howled and they shouted and they shrieked and they screamed and they cried because they had human minds and they had bodies like monkeys and the monkeys made a sign with their heads the people who were stopping them they they, they asked them did we not forbid you from doing this and the monkeys made signs with their heads and they said yes and then abdullah bin abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he wept and he said that we we all see many wrong doings and we do not reject them or deny them or even make a comment so this is what happened with this people kunu kiradatan khasain and similarly has ibn abbas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu is also narrated that the young men of the town were turned into monkeys and the old men were turned into pigs and hazrat ibn abbas also narrates that they did not live long and they also left no offspring and no monster lived more than 3 days and uh, in addition they could not eat they could not drink and they did not have any remnants behind and this is what is mentioned more than one chapters of quran so what morals and what lessons do we learn from here or what message does this event and these two verses give us number 1 the whole event explains to us the importance of obedience of allah and then the whole events and both the verses explain and highlight to us the punishment how grievous the punishment of disobedience of allah is and the verses also highlight that disobedience to allah or disobedience to the commandments of allah is disobedience whether it is direct or whether it is indirect a group of people whether they are directly openly aggressively disobeying allah or they are they are silently or secretly or indirectly disobeying allah disobedience is still disobedience and it might be punished and similarly from here we also realize the importance of the specified day of worship as for us the day of friday